ago with J Rob, KMJ, stack of talent, man. It was amazing sharing the stage with these artists. Heck yeah. That's dope. So um well what what is the future plan you see for yourself? I wanna go to the mountains, live off grid in my cabin. Never have to work again. That's my ultimate goal. Dope. Yeah, I heard you have a cabin in the back of the woods. Is it as scary as they say it is? Most definitely. <laughs> uh, more scary for the animals than people. <laughs> the mountain folk out there are pretty crazy, but they mind their own. Uh, seen some bears, mountain lions. I mean, it's you got more to worry about with the wildlife than you do with uh, any people, for sure. So do you, do you hunt a lot? Oh, yeah. I love hunting, fishing. I mean, living off the land is my ultimate goal, knowing that's how our ancestors survived, knowing that's why we're here right now. It's a beautiful thing to me to spend time in nature and observing the animals and seeing how they uh, seeing how they interact and live in the wild, you know. So I think we're animals at the end of the day. Okay, dope. How do you manage being a DJ and running a business or multiple businesses at the same time? There's really not much to manage, man. I just do what I enjoy and pick and choose the things that I want to do, you know. And if you want to do it, then it's not really working, so... Making money off your hobbies is definitely the number one goal. And that's why I always start new things, try new things. You never know unless you try. I've crashed and burned a few times on businesses, gave up, but that made me appreciate the ones that are successful even more. It gave me the drive to keep doing that. Okay, dope. So uh, what's your favorite genre of music? Oh, boy. I mean, man, I love hip-hop, EDM, country music. 
and classic blues. Lately, I've been real into country and classic blues just because DJ a lot of hip hop for a lot of hip hop artists, listen to EDM all the time at the raves, clubs, and all that. So when I'm out of the cabin, I get my peace of mind and it almost takes me back in time. Okay, dope. So, um, what's your favorite, what's your two favorite local artists? Oh boy, Burns for sure. I have to put him up there. And uh, KMG, or KMJ. KMJ. KMJ, I don't know why I was going to call him KMG. He, his lyrics are on point, man. His delivery is just amazing. Hypes up the crowds. The stage presence is oh, there. He got a great stage presence. And I just met him recently, so that's definitely a blessing sharing the stage with him. Yeah, he's held dope. So, like, um, what's your biggest influences uh, locally and uh, on a bigger, bigger scale? Man, my biggest influence is my mom, hands down. She's uh, worked her ass off for me her whole life. Single mom of four kids most of our life. She worked construction. She worked all kinds of bad jobs. And just, I want to bring, I don't want my kids one day to have to see their mom work so hard. And I don't know, just a struggle. Like, I, I don't want to see my kids go through that same thing, you know. And she, we always had food. We always had it good, you know. But she worked her ass off for that. And that's the only reason why we had it as good as we did, you know. It's never anything fancy, but we never went hungry. And that's a dope answer. I like that answer. So, um, uh, what does Lab 808 mean? Uh, lab is for laboratory, because um, I do welding, 3D printing, creations. I mean, the name was supposed to mean nothing, so I can use it for all of my businesses. My DJ name really doesn't mean anything. I'll change it to Lab 809 tomorrow. I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it just is what it is. I didn't want to be too specific with the name to discount my other businesses, so... Laboratory and 808 is obviously a base tone. All the producers know that. And my CNC laser is 808 nanometers, the wavelength. So it just kind of kind of flowed. Not many people know about the whole laser thing, but everybody knows the 808 tone. So that's my favorite base tone. That's interesting. That's, huh. So do you ever see yourself uh, rapping in the future? Most definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Why? It's just, it's just not my thing, man. Like, I'm not, I'm not that uh, literal and creative, you know? Like, I just, I like to build stuff. I'm a hands-on type of guy. I mean, I'm surprised I've made it this far with the music industry not being a musician and not really creating anything, just helping network and market and put on a good production for the crowd. Okay, so, I mean, but if I were to say, like, I have a question. Do you have any... Uh, I mean, do you think you have good communication skills? No, I'm oh. a hothead, okay. not at all. I well then, I mean, if you, okay, if you don't have good communication skills, I mean, I would say you do, and if you have good communication skills, I mean, rapping is really just, you know, communication, and communication is really just, I mean, it can be talking or body language, you know, so, I mean, but being able to communicate, like, you can do that through, through rapping, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, if you can talk good, which I think you can, anybody can rap. It's the easiest thing ever, in my opinion. But yeah, it's because you're a good rapper. It <laughs> comes naturally to you. That's your skill, you know. I mean, and I don't have much to say, you know. It's just not my cup of tea. I respect it and I love it though. That's the thing. I love sharing shit, the stage. I thought, I thought you were gonna start, you know, rapping and shit. I was hoping to see that. Well, how did you get started DJing? Uh, I was just a bedroom DJ for years. Uh, always. Fucked around, like to play with music. I always liked music. Um, never saw the potential to make money and actually network and market with it. Uh, never knew it would grow my businesses this much. It's exponentially grown my business. The more people I meet, the more artists I meet, they all need clothes, they want merch, they need photography done. So it's just been, it's been the perfect storm of uh, investments and just passion. I mean, the passion behind it's the only reason why it works. Okay, dope. So what is your favorite catalog of music that you like to spin now? Uh, most definitely just the instrumentals for the artists. I love being a part of that, feeling that energy, and knowing that we're vibing together. The coolest thing about doing that is seeing all the people in the crowd like interact. You know, everybody from every walk of life, no matter what their skin color, none of that matters. We're all vibing together, living in the moment because of this one dude on stage putting out his heart and chasing his dreams. And I think that's beautiful. Oh, that's a really good answer. Can you DJ country? 
Yes, I love country music. I absolutely love country music. I'm supposed to be getting on up at rodeo, but I keep getting kicked out. So, I mean, that's, that's not going to happen now. You know, I don't agree with that. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I love country music, man. Two step and line dance and all that. Okay, dope. Well, uh, honestly, I feel like that's most of the questions that I, that I can really think of. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, I mean, I feel like those are all really good answers, too. So, like, well, actually, I think there might, there might be one more question. Let me see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you have any shout outs that you have to tell anybody about? Oh, man. <laughs> well, first of all, my sponsors, TH Creations, they make the best extracts in the business. I'm sure you've heard of their cards. Stack Smoke Shop, got an original location on 51st Memorial. He's in Broken Arrow, Big Speed. All that. Picked up me a new sponsor in OKC the other day, D and G Dankery. They make gourmet edibles, all kinds of badass shit. I mean, just the best in the business, man. Uh, Safari Joe's H two O. Got to give them a shout out. They uh, always have me up there for adult nights, seven to eleven during the summer for Adult Swim. Full bar, twenty one and up. It's a good time. Uh, let me think here. Yeah, uh, J Rob for this interview. Angel for all the dope pictures he gets of me on my shows. All my friends that have supported me in my business, my mom, for sticking with me and working so hard. Uh, I mean, I just have so many people to thank. We spent 30 minutes on that. Hey, well, that's dope. Well, we plan on doing a lot more of these, so this will probably uh, just be your first. I mean, is this your first interview? Yeah, first okay. definitely. Yeah, this is just like my fifth uh, that I've been doing. But uh, yeah, this is the fifth episode. But also, uh, I'm curious, uh, where can we find your merch? Where can we order some merch? Uh, Instagram is at lab808, L-A-B-808. Snapchat, hit me up on there. We can get some custom stuff made. If you need merch, if you do shows, I can come set up a badass production. We got lights, we got artists that can hop on, have a good following. We can really make that pop, and uh, that's it. Okay, dope. So the, we're at the, uh, the section of this... Uh, interview and I forgot to tell you about this beforehand so uh, forgive me for that but we will give you uh, two minutes to be able to uh, either I mean we cater this to usually rappers but you can have two minutes to talk about whatever you want to talk about and if you have anything on your mind you want to talk about uh, if you want to freestyle anything or if you want to rap written or one of your favorite verses from, from one of your favorite people or if you just want to sit there in silence for two minutes that's cool so uh, your two minutes starting now uh... I want to say I don't want to sit here for two minutes and talk about anything. Uh, and the only thing I have to say is I love you, Mom, and thank you for supporting me and believing in my dreams. That's it. Yeah. Round of applause. <laughs>